Well, I, I really greatly appreciate you sharing your wisdom and the three decades of experience you've had with this professionally and clinically and, and helping us better understand uh, from from your experience. Um, but, you know, it, it ultimately, though, it is uh, it is a supplement, and I think the, the word supplement reminds us that this is in addition to, not in place of, a good diet. So, so even though it is a magic nutraceutical, uh, because of the profound benefits it can have, it doesn't rel- uh, diminish the importance of adhering to healthy lifestyle choices that we talked about earlier, such as the diet and the exercise and the emotional components. So I, I think that's important to remind people here that, you know, because the, there's a danger because we're all sort of exposed to this perpetual conventional medical thinking uh, that, you know, there's this there's this drug solution for something. And, and yes, these supplements are far better, usually far less expensive and virtually without side effects for the most part uh, than the, the drug alternatives that so many people are given uh, that, you know, it's it's easy to, to make that, to have that same sort of line of thinking to just substitute this for that and, you know, not really pay attention to the more important lifestyle changes. But, you know, certainly as an, in addition to that, it can be a very powerful strategy. So I, I just wanted to mention that. And then, you know, we're closing. I mean, we're going to have you on again because you've got, you're such a wealth of information, and we'll talk about some things such as uh, electron deficiency syndromes and metabolic uh, cardiology. But I'm wondering if you could just comment on that and maybe get some closing words as to how you – what counsel you might give to people who are, uh, you know, do are struggling with either current – uh, cardiac issues or want to take an aggressive preventive approach? Sure. I mean, um, I, I think what I'd like to close on is like there's great hope for people with heart disease. I mean, uh, I just feel that um, uh, there is so much hope for these people. Uh, do you remember from medical school, Joe, um, the, the survival of heart failure was worse than cancer? Oh, yeah, it was that's, terrible. that's what our professors told us, that the five-year survival was for heart failure was like 50%, and 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 it was, it was it wasn't good. I mean, in other words, having a heart failure diagnosis was worse than cancer. But today, in you know 2011, I mean, I've treated people for heart failure for four decades, and I've treated patients with ejection fractions of 10, 15, 20% that are still alive today. And 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 what's happening? I mean, why is that so? And um, what I've learned over the last you know four decades of being a cardiologist is that. When you give ATP support to the heart, and, and this is where, you know, it's more of a metabolic cardiology approach with not only CoQ10, but, you know, ribose, carnitine, and, uh, and magnesium. But when, when you give ATP support to the heart, remember, ATP not only restores cardiac function, it's bioenergetic effect, it enhances pulsation, but it repairs cells. It's one of the most important things for repairing cells. And I don't know if you saw that article in Science. Uh, it was April 2009, where our own stem cells, our own intrinsic stem cells, have a way of repairing the body. Uh, when I read this article in 2009, I had this incredible joy come into my heart because I realized that it wasn't metabolic cardiology that was curing these people, but it was what metabolic cardiology was doing. When people take CoQ10 for years and uh, – especially with ribose and the other nutrients that I mentioned, what they're doing is they're buying time for their own intrinsic stem cells to take over and really heal the body. I've learned in the last uh, few months that, you know, our cells in our body are constantly turning over and our intrinsic stem cells are replacing a lot of the damage in our body. So when I saw people with, quote, literally dead hearts 20 years ago or 30 years ago, now with normal ejection fractions, I believe that cardiomyocyte renewal was responsible for that, and I believe that when you give people ATP support, it repairs and restores and rejuvenates these cells. It allows for the stem cells to take over, and you said it before, and the way you said it was, oh, we need healthy food, we need healthy water, we we, we need lifestyle changes, and that's why it works because, Joe, you and I have been around enough in medicine to know that the body has a way of healing itself. The body's innate intelligence will heal itself. Unfortunately, pharmaceutical drugs can screw it up lots of times. Now look, we'll both use pharmaceutical drugs in emergencies, I and mean, when we have to treat a child with asthma, whatever works, works. And we have to treat a patient with heart failure, you know, we're gonna give them you know, diuretics and morphine. But basically, if we allow the body to heal itself, 
and, and support its natural innate wisdom, especially with a good healthy diet and, uh, and nutraceutical support in, in, in the form of supplements. Oh my gosh! Uh, and positive intention—that's the—that's the triad. We, we have to have positive intention. Get rid of our neg- negative thinking. When we do that, you know, good lifestyle, good healthy organic food, good healthy waters, good supplements, positive attitude, healing occurs. So, uh, I just want to tell our listeners that if you have heart disease out there, um, please don't become a victim of your illness. But uh, there's great hope for people with cardiovascular disease. I mean, I've seen it over the years, over four decades, and uh, I, I just feel that uh, there's so much we can offer these patients. And uh, I just hope when people listen to this show, they'll, if they are sick with heart disease, they'll ask their doctor about other alternatives because they do work. And if for, for individuals who are uh, impressed with your information and want more details about what you have to share, because this is only a, a really the tip of the iceberg, literally, of uh, what you can help them with in cardiology, what, is, what, what books would you recommend or what websites or, or resources well, would you advise? Yeah, I mean, the heartmdinstitute.com website, that's a purely informational website uh, where I have a lot of streaming video. Uh, in fact, I think you and I were doing video at the same time. It was really, it was really amazing, you know. Uh, and um, that has a lot of good video and a lot of good instruction. Then there's drsinatra.com, and, and uh, grounded.com has a lot of my books. And, and uh, I think... A discussion about uh, the earthing energy would be wonderful in the future. We've done a lot of science with that, and uh, I'm ha- I just had a paper come out this month, in fact, on uh, on uh, heart rate variability and grounding. But th- there's a lot out there for people to really, uh, uh, you know, see. It's just it's just having the the belief and 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 having the openness to to consider that uh, this there's an incredible world out there in healing and. Uh, uh, that's why you and I go to conferences all the time. I mean, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the worst thing about being a doctor, Joe, is it takes 60 or 70 or 80 years to learn it, and then you, <laughs> then you die, you know. But <laughs> but but that's why. I mean, I mean, how many conferences have uh, you and I seen each other at? And you know, trying to learn and 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 trying to really, uh, you know, wrap our arms around illness. I'll tell you, I've become very humble in my days, but very enthusiastic in the same at the same time because. Uh, over the years, I'm seeing what works and what doesn't work, and uh, again, I have I have such great hope for uh, for illness in the future. Well, you know, that's an interesting point to close on too, in that uh, it really is one of the great tragedies of life that we acquire all this knowledge and then we die, and you know, all this incredible wisdom just gets lost. And there's a number of clinicians and individuals who are and researchers who are uh, really involved in anti-aging research and and seeking to. To, to treat aging as a disease and really radically extend the lifespan. We're not talking about months or years. We're talking about decades or even hundreds of years. So that's an intriguing concept. I don't know that we'll ever live to see that, but I, I'm I, I'm fairly uh, convinced that there's some compelling information that says at some point in the future they'll be able to do that, and then we won't have this challenge of losing all this wisdom. Right, right. And again, I, I, I think if we if – we, don't rely on the pharmaceutical dark age. That's the problem. I mean, once we rely on pharmaceutical drugs, we're, we're disempowering our patient. And what we need to do is empower our patients to heal, to help heal themselves. But again, it's natural simple cures that does it. It's really basically the simple things. And, and again, positive intention is another one. And, and uh, you know, if we, need, if we need pharmaceutical drugs, you know, at least we have that option. But uh, to rely solely on them, I, I think you and I are both on the same page that this is one area where, uh, you know, we we need to use less of and, and use more of lifestyle characteristics and proper, you know, lifestyle changes that can really help heal the body. Well, uh, I thank you for sharing your information with us today and for all the work you've done over these decades to really advance the uh, state of information and knowledge and understanding that we have to help people provide these natural solutions so they don't have to rely on these toxic drugs and and to uh, sustain themselves and really uh, address these potential problems. So thanks again, and I'm sure we'll have you back soon. All right, Joe. Thanks a lot. God bless. Have a great day now.